soul. If a man is a chief, and when he passes on, his title is inherited by his first son, and during marriages, it is the oldest <coughs> male member of the family that gives away the daughter in marriage. All these are changing in contemporary African times. Most Africans now have nuclear families, that is, mother and father. But the concept of extended African family is, has not disappeared completely. Uh, when people die today, even today, especially in Muslim Africa, it is not uh, unexpected for a friend to take the wife of another friend to marry her so that she will not suffer. At least this is the reason they give. In Muslim societies in Africa, polygamy is the rule rather than the exception. And a man is entitled to four wives at a time. And they can continue to renew these wives as long as he keeps up to a maximum of four. Of course, among Muslims, you are only supposed to marry four wives if you can love all of them equally. And we know that it's not possible. But in spite of this condition, people still go ahead and marry four wives at it. You know, must not, must not have more than four wives at every given point in time. Even among Christians now, polygamy is beginning to be practiced. When a Muslim man dies, a friend out of love and support for his dead friend usually marries, or sometimes, not necessarily usually, sometimes marries his, his friend's wife. Divorce in traditional African society is allowed and dowries are paid to the families of the wife, and when there is a divorce, this dowry ha 